Template codes are created to assist with data entry. The primary purpose for template codes is to assign default values for selected fields so they are populated automatically during the process of entering transactions, which makes the data entry process much faster. On the order page, order entry allows one of four order types to be assigned when the template is used. Active orders indicate an order that is current now. A future order is one that becomes active on a specific date, where a standing order is like an order template that can be used over and over again, and finally blanket. Blanket orders are often used to make a number of purchases over time, but you want to avoid having to post a new requisition and purchase order for each purchase. For example, you might use a blanket purchase order to periodically replenish office supplies. Blanket purchase orders are not normally used to buy inventory items. If you plan to buy a lot of inventory over time, you can create the order through a large active purchase order with all the details, rather than by using a blanket purchase order. For each template, optionally enter a default ship to and bill to code as well as an optional description field, reference field, and comment field. Text entered in these fields appear automatically when orders are started using this template. Templates can automatically display, please send the items as soon as possible, or happy holidays, rather than entering the text each time. The vendor page allows vendor-specific defaults to be assigned, such as a ship via code, assuming they were added. Template codes also allow a default tax group and term code. These fields replace the settings established for the vendor if the template code is selected before the vendor code when entering a new purchase order. This may cause an invalid tax group, for example, if a Canadian vendor is selected after selecting this template code. The reverse is not true. Selecting the vendor and then the template code retains the correct vendor settings on the vendors page. The template uses the default settings on the order page only. Let's take a look at additional costs. 